Hey kindergarten, Mr. Michael here with your remote lesson for the week. And what I thought we could do today is, it's getting close to Halloween time, so spooky, creepy things. And I thought what we could do is make one of these little guys. One of these cool little spiders. All right. Let's see if I can get him there where you can see like his head and stuff there. All right. So I'm gonna show you how to take this circle like this all right and then we will make it into this are you ready let's go all right guys so some things you're gonna need to make sure you have to do this project first thing is something to color with all right I've got my markers here that I use for mine okay but crayons, markers, colored pencils, whatever you got, but something to color with, okay? Gonna need a good pair of scissors, all right? Pencil with an eraser or an eraser on the side, but make sure you got a pencil and an eraser. And a glue stick, okay? And a white piece of paper. Or you know what, if you wanna do it with colored too, that's fine. I'm just gonna show you how to do it with the colored piece of paper. All right, my friends. So here's how we're going to start. On that piece of paper, what you need to do is go into your house and maybe do this with mom and dad and find something where you can trace a nice perfect circle. I found this plastic cup I had. All right. And I put it on there and I took my pencil and I traced around it a couple of times and I got my circle. Okay, then what I did was I went and drew my little spider design on the top of my circle there. So there's what's going to be his eyes. And I remember spiders, if you know anything about spiders, they have more than just two eyes. I believe they can have anywhere from like six to eight eyes. All right. So I gave him one, two, three, four, five, six. So like two big eyes and four smaller eyes. And I know a spider's mouth really doesn't look like that, but I kind of wanted it to be kind of cute too. So I give him like a little smile with some, some pointy teeth kind of poking out there. And then I just drew these little shapes and stuff on him that I'll color up and they'll make him have a really cool, neat design on him. Okay. So I drew those. And then the next thing I did after I drew those, I colored them up. And there's what he might look like all colored up. All right. So I colored in all my spaces and stuff there, colored in my eyes, colored in the teeth, kind of outlined my things. You don't have to outline yours if you don't want. It's just something I like to do. But if you want to, go ahead and outline them. And what I mean by that is like taking like, it could be a black colored pencil or a black marker or something and just going over kind of like your pencil lines there to just kind of help things just pop out a little bit better. All right. And then what I did over here was I colored like a rectangle. And now what you can do with this is, for me, I'm gonna use them to make the legs for my spider, okay? But if you've got other colored paper, or if you just wanna do it with white, you, I mean, you, you could make your legs that way too. But when we get to this, you'll kinda of see what I'm talking about, all right? So now, quick review. Found my thing to make a circle with. Put it on the paper, traced around it a couple of times to get my circle. Then I drew in my design and my eyes and mouth and stuff on my spider. Yours doesn't have to look exactly like mine, okay? Maybe yours just has two eyes, I don't know. It's just a cute little cartoony kind of spider that we're making, okay? Did my design and then colored my design in. All right. And remember, if you want to make this big blue rectangle here or whatever color you want to make it, all right, just color it in nicely. And that's going to be the legs for our spider. But again, if you don't want to use like a color or a rectangle like I did, you might use these extra white pieces you have out here. It's all up to you, but you'll all kind of see how it comes together here in just a moment. Okay. So I've done all those things. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut them out nicely 
cut out on that line that you made. Keep it a circle, all right? You want it to still look like a circle. It's going to be a big important part here because what we're going to do is we're going to take this circle and we're actually going to make it three-dimensional. We're going to make it into a cone, all right? Let me get the, cut this out here and I'll show you what I mean. If we look at my spider, he's flat, all right? I hold him this way. He's just flat like a pancake, okay? But I'm going to show you how to take that and we're going to make it what we call three-dimensional. It has height, it has width, all right? It's not just flat like a pancake, all right? We're gonna take this and we're gonna turn it into this. So what you'll need now is your scissors again and your glue stick. Now you may wanna have mom and dad, grandma, grandpa, auntie, uncle, whoever's there to help you out, you may want to help, have them help you out with this part because if we don't do this part right, it can kind of mess things up a little bit. But what we're going to do is we're going to take our scissors and about right here, we are going to cut a line that goes from here right about to the center of our... Or you know what? I changed my mind. No. Let's make our line about right here and right about to the middle all right don't cut all the way through from like here to about right there okay so i'm going to do that now about right to the middle and i'm going to stop okay now what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this part and i'm going to kind of bring it over here and put it on the top of this one and if I do that, look what it does. He goes from pancake, all right, to a cone, okay? So now I'm gonna take some glue there, put that on there like so, get that plenty of good sticky stuff on there. There we go. And again, I'm gonna take this one, and I'm gonna put it right over the top there. And then, once you got it there, hold it for about 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And there we go. There's the body for our spider. Okay? Now, let me get some of that glue off my workspace there. Okay? Now, remember how I told you if you wanted to make like this big colored rectangle over here, you could do that? All right? I'm going to use that for my legs. Or, you know what, if you didn't want to do that and you just wanted to use the paper over here, you could kind of do the same thing with just like a white rectangle. So I could maybe cut it out. Kind of like this. And I could use that for my legs. I kind of want some color, okay? So that's why I'm going to use this rectangle here that I made. So I'm going to take it and I'm going to cut it out. And you know what? If you've got colored paper, you may not even want to do this. You may just want to go get a piece of colored paper, cut out a rectangle out of that, and use that. Okay? I didn't have any colored paper on hand, so I kind of made my own when I just colored here. But if you've got, like, maybe some blue paper or something, and you just want to cut it out of the blue paper, go for it. All right? That might be even, be, be even a little bit more easier. All right? But now here's how I make my legs. I'm going to take that rectangle I made. And I'm going to fold them in half like this. All right. And then we've talked about this before, remember? Like how this is like an alligator mouth, and here's the mouth. All right. So here's where his mouth open, and you can get your teeth, or get your, get your finger with his teeth. All right. What you want to do is you want to cut back here on the back of the mouth just a little bit. Just enough when you cut it, you get two pieces of paper like that, okay? Then you're going to cut these into four strips, and you're going to try to make them about the same size. So like one, two, three, four. I'm just going to cut a little bit off to make the fourth one here. Put that over there, all right? 
And remember now, a spider is not an insect. A spider is what we call an arachnid, and arachnids have eight legs, all right? Insects have six. Arachnids have eight. And if you look, I've cut out two, four, six, eight legs there, all right? And then here's how I do this. If you wanna do it all one at a time, you can do that. But what I like to do is like I'll put them all together. So they're almost like all exactly the same there. And then what I'll do is we've kind of done this before too. But remember, if you haven't done this, watch. We're gonna do that like zigzag cut or that crinkle cut I call I call it. So we fold like this way. Okay, smoosh it with your fingers and then fold it the other way. So like back and forth back and forth and squeeze them really good boop there we go and then what you'll do is let me show you on my finished one then you'll see how i glued his legs four on this side of his body four on that side all right remember that for, for the spider to be able to walk right, all right, he's got to have the same amount of legs over here and the same amount of legs over here and about the same spot over there on that side. Remember that word, symmetry. What I do on this side, I got to do exactly on that side, all right? So what I would do then is put some glue on the tips of those little legs that you just folded up and then glue one there, 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 and there, and then glue another one there, 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 and there, all right? And then, if you want, you don't have to do this part, but what I did then was to get a little hole like on the top of his head there for his, um, for his um, web, I just took my, pen, my scissors and I carefully just kind of poked a hole. Again here, you may want mom and dad, grandma, grandpa, whoever's helping you out with this to do this part for you to make like a little hole. All right, you can kind of see the hole I just made there. And then you can get a piece of string. I'm gonna pull the one off of this guy for right now. All right, and again, you may want a little help with this. I put some knots, so I did like, something kind of like this. But I did it like a few times. So I made like all these knots make like that big knot right there. You may want to just get like a little piece of tape and put a little clump of tape right there and that might work just fine too, all right? But something to make this a little bit bigger than this up here, all right? And then once you've made your hole, take it, poke it through, and then it should stop right there, all right? And there you go. There's your cool little spider that we took something flat like a pancake and we turned it three-dimensional into a little cone and wound up making a cool little Halloween spider for it. All right. I think he's kind of like a tarantula. I think I'll call him, um, I'll call him Mr. T, the tarantula for Mr. T. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. It's a pretty fun little project. I haven't done that one for a while. And they wind up being really cool. And then once you got your web on there, you can kind of like, you can like hang them from things or take them for a walk or something. All right. <laughs> I like them. Those are fun. All right, guys. Good to see you. Have fun with this. And yeah. Oh, and you know what? I forgot. If you could, um, moms and dads, grandmas, grandpas, aunts, uncles, whoever's helping out with this, if you could, please take a picture of what your student is doing and then email it to me and I'll have the email address at the end of this video. All right, my friends, you take care. Awesome to see you. Can't wait to see you again here at Shepherdson and my other school too at Harris as well. All right, my friends, you guys take care. We'll see you soon. Adios, amigos.